My name is Daryl Labar, and in this video, I'm going to show how to change an existing local option set to use a global option set. So, the first thing you want to do is to download the Attribute Manager. Uh, you can find it at the xrmtoolbox.com. And uh, let's click go to website. And I'll take you to github.com slash Daryl Labar slash dlb.xrm.xrmtoolbox tools slash releases. That's kind of a long thing to, to type out, so I just suggest going to xrmtoolbox.com and then navigating from there. Um, once you get to here, if you already have the XRM Toolbox installed, uh, you can just do the plugins only. If you have it, you can do the full uh, the full zip file, download that, and you want to make sure after you download it to right click on it and unblock it before you actually uh, unzip it, or else you're going to have uh, issues with the XRM Toolbox running. So once you get that downloaded, go ahead and um, pull it up. And get click on the attribute manager, retrieve entities, and then type in the, the name that you want, the entity you want to actually look up, and change the attribute for. So in this case, I'm going to do the lead. And then you want to find your actual attribute. In this case, uh, I am looking for the credit check rating, credit score rating. Um, you can use this tool to rename it if you want to rename it. What we want to do this time is actually convert the attribute type. You can see right now that's a local attribute type. You want to check that. And so you want a global option set. Now it goes and retrieves your actual options. And we want the credit score, credit score rating. Uh, if you want to default the value, you can there but now it's going to convert from a local to a, a global. Here are the steps. It's going to create a temporary attribute, migrate um, all the form, and if you've checked the data, migrate any data that you have as well. So that way, if you need to run it in each environment, you can. Um, and then re it'll remove the existing attribute. So this one right here, it's going to get it removed. Then it's going to create a new attribute, this one. It's going to migrate from the temporary to the new, and then it's going to remove the temporary. And if you want to execute each of these steps one at a time, you can. Um, if you want to execute all they can, if one of them fails, you could start another step, um, and it uh, will go through and make sure that you, you know, don't accidentally say, "Hey, I want to remove the existing attribute without having that temporary created." So right now, if I uh, get an error, "Hey, um, unable to remove the existing attribute," this temporary attribute doesn't exist. So the temporary attribute is always going to be underscore t. So now I can go through and check those. Now they're all checked. I'm going to go ahead and clear this so you don't see that. Now I'm going to execute the steps. So I went through it, created the temporary, had to publish the lead, so it can go ahead and assign it to the form. And now it's beginning to migrate. It's migrating all the data over from the temp to the temporary. So we have 75 leads currently in the system. Click copy all those over. You want to make sure those actual integer values are the same. If they are not, um, you'll need to do a cleanup script afterwards. Or if you want, you can do the migrate, and then before you remove the existing, you can run your own custom script to uh, to bring those values over. Okay, so now we're deleting the existing field, and now we're creating it again. So it's the same exact name as before. Okay, this is great. Uh, we're on CRM Online, and you had an issue in a SQL error. Um, I don't think that's a part of this tool. So you know, how do we get around that? Great issue to run into. So we know that the current step we just completed removing the existing. Now I need to migrate over to the new ones. I'm going to go ahead and check that. Remove the existing. Did we create the new attribute? Creating attribute. We may not have. Let's go ahead and execute that. We're going to clear that out. Execute again. Okay, so... Alright, so it already unable to create new attribute. Old and credit skill exists. Okay, so it already exists, so we don't need to create a new, we just migrate to the new. Delete that again, try again. Alright, now we're copying the data over. So if you ever get an issue where it had an error, something, the system croaked, no fault at all, the tool, you can still go ahead and run this. Now we're deleting the temporary. And now 
refreshes that for the attribute so it actually knows this is the global and everything's done so now that's all it's required it's gone through and updated the forms updated the views and charts uh, user charts everything um, and some workflows as well so it's gone through and done all that stuff it can't do every single thing but for the most part just generic stuff it can do and so it's always good to give it a try and dev first before you do it in another environment and you can always uh, restart at a certain step if you want and if you need to migrate things manually and have a custom script to do that you can do that as well by executing part and stop and part um, because we didn't change the name of this you'll need to rerun this in each environment that you want to um, want to perform this change in uh, because just importing the solution when you import the solution it says hey this is a local one but in the, it's a global one in the solution but the actual environment is going to be local so you have to run this in each environment that you want to uh, deploy to uh, before you actually deploy any solutions containing that uh, that reference. But that's it. And if you're in the dev environment and it doesn't exist in the other environments, you're good to go. No changes were needed. So hopefully that was helpful. And it was kind of nice we got an error there so that you can see um, you know, what you do in the case of an error and how you can get around it. So uh, hopefully you find this helpful. And feel free to, uh, if you find any bugs, please submit those. I'll do my best to take a look at it. And uh, you can also support if you want by clicking on the donate at your manager, and you can go ahead and donate right there if you found this tool helpful. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.